Have you ever wondered about water? Have you thought to yourself, how does rain get into a cloud? When water gets evaporated by the sun, where does it go? When it rains, is that new water falling from the sky? The answer to all this is no. There's no new water. All the water we have is on Earth, and it's constantly being cycled from the Earth up into the atmosphere and back again. A great experiment to help you see this in action on a smaller scale is to make yourself something like this, a terrarium, or a water cycle in a jar. I'll show you how. So for this, you're gonna need a few things. Firstly, you'll need some rocks. I just got these out of the garden. You're also gonna need some sand. That will be the next layer in our terrarium. The final layer will be some soil, or potting mix if you've got some. To put this all together, we need a jar, and it needs to be something that can seal at the top. Now, it doesn't have to be a jar. You could use an old soft drink bottle, cut the top off, and then put some kitchen wrap over the top, but as long as we've got a nice seal, we need it to all stay nice and sealed inside. You'll also need a plant. This is a really important part. Now, it doesn't have to be something with flowers. It can be any old little plant that you pull out of the garden. Um, and the great thing is, at the end, you can put it back. Finally, do use some gloves. Okay, I'm gloved up. Now we can start putting it together. I'm gonna to start off with putting a layer of stones or rocks at the very bottom. Now you notice, I haven't put heaps in. Remember, we're gonna have a number of other layers, so we need to make sure we've got room for everything in our jar. Now that we've done our sand, we'll put our final layer, which will be some soil. Okay, I've got my plant here, and this is gonna go straight into my terrarium. So, depending on how big your hands are, you might find this a little bit difficult. Okay, so the next step is we need to add a little bit of water. Now, not too much. We just want enough so that our soil, our soil layer, has a bit of moisture in it. So, I've got a small amount here, and I'm gonna add that to my tree room. Okay, so our terrarium is ready to be sealed up. We've got our layer of stones at the bottom, we've got our sand, we've got our soil. Importantly, we've got our plant and we've added in a little bit of water as well to make sure that that soil is nice and damp. Let's seal it up. To finish off your experiment, you need to observe what happens to your water cycle in a jar over the next week, two weeks or so. What will be your predictions? What are some of the things you might observe? Will you see any parts of the water cycle happening within your jar? We'd love to hear how you go. Please let us know. Enjoy.